What's going on, you guys, man? Good morning. Me and my daughter just got to the bus stop. Big girl, yeah. say yo. Yeah. Say what it is. So yeah, man, this morning, hopefully, we be able to catch a nice trade setup because that's the overall goal of this video. But once you get on the bus, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym. The goal is to get me a decent workout in. I might go to the pool this morning. And then from there, we just gotta go out on about the rest of our day. I gotta get me a haircut and a shave because boy, the boy is wolfed out. So yeah, man, that being said, with my baby getting the bus, we plan on having a good day, right, big girl? You gonna have a good day? So yeah, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. That being said, I'm gonna see you guys shortly. You did. I give myself so much credit because there was one time where I just could not be disciplined when it comes to just my, my ordinary funds. But the fact that I'm very disciplined when it comes to my live money, bro, I give myself a pat the back. That just show how far my book has come. Me to actually make, bro, I've made more bread this year trading than I've done any other year combined. And this year's still not even over. We got a whole quarter, bro. We got whole October, November, December, and we got the rest of this month. So that being said, bro, I'm just so grateful how far I've come as a trader. I may not be where I want to be at yet when it comes to prop firms, bro. But trust me, you keep watching my journey. I'm just being transparent. I'm just showing you guys everything. But just keep watching this journey, bro. You guys are going to be bedazzled about how much my life changed. I mean, you guys only know but so much of my personal life because I'm a very private person. I don't want to put myself in the bullshit. So I got to minimize how much shit I show in my everyday life. But you guys are actually gonna be able to see so much shit. Trust me and mark my words. When I work on my construction job, remember I told you guys, bro, I spoke a lot of shit into existence when it comes to quitting my job. And look at me now. Bro, I've not worked a job since fucking, since January 20, 26? January 26? A 28? I don't know, it was the last Friday of fucking January. And ever since then, bro, full-time entrepreneur, full-time day trader, full-time boss, full-time father, full-time husband, and I love this shit. It's the best shit that ever happened to me, bro. And I'm a free man, bro. So yeah, that being said, I'm gonna get my workout in, um, and then hopefully we'll be able to jump in this pool. I'm gonna more likely go to the pool this morning after I'm done with this workout. So yeah, let's get it. Leg workouts. Skinny ass chopsticks. Look at the skinny ass legs. This shit. Skinny ass legs. Hate doing leg workouts. Always hate this shit. So last week, someone did request me to make a video on my confidence on leaving my job. And it goes deep, bro. So I first started learning how to trade in August 2020. If you guys have not watched the video where I did explain, like, how I got to trade, I'm gonna put the link in the top right corner of the screen. It should be up there right now. Um, but when I first started learning how to trade, my goal was not to quit my job. The main reason I wanted to quit my job was because of what I was seeing on YouTube and on social media. Because a lot of gurus were saying, oh, they went through this, and trading is what it was that helped them be able to quit their job to trade full time. But over time, bro, I come to realize you gotta have more than just trading, bro. You gotta have sustainable income. If there's any type of other side hustles, bro. So side hustles, other businesses, and training is what got me to be able to quit my job. I have other sources of income. I'm not only relying on trading. So, bro, it's, it goes deep. The rabbit hole really goes deep. I think there's mainly three main reasons that will allow someone to be able to quit their job. And uh, those three main reasons is you gotta know how to trade. 
you're gonna have several months of your bills saved up just in case worst case scenario shit goes left. You'll have more than enough time to actually lock in on trading and become very profitable. And the third one, you just gotta have the confidence. Like you gotta be relentless. Like my mindset is set on, bro, take the risk, lose a chance. Anyone that knows me knows I always say, take the risk or lose a chance. Bro, I am relentless. I am relentless when it comes to making sacrifices, bro. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to live with regret. If opportunities present itself, is that I'm gonna capitalize on it or I'm gonna live with regret wishing that I will have. And that has to be like the worst fucking feeling in the world. And I refuse to put myself through that. So yeah, those are the main things I just want to tell you guys, but we done working out. We're going to go ahead and probably get ready to jump in this pool. After the sunrise a little bit more, we will jump in this pool. Just relax. I'm going to chop it up with you guys. And then from there, the goal is to get a catch a dub. So if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up, man. Like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. You guys know that I do engage and I do reply back to every comment. If I don't at the moment, that means I definitely will in the very near future. So that being said, I'm gonna see you guys shortly. You did. What's going on, you guys? So now it is about that time. It is currently 9.29. AM EST, the open is less than one minute. The goal is to be able to catch us a nice trade set up this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and move myself over here. I like it better over here. Boom. So yeah, hopefully we catch a trade set up this morning. The main pairs I will be trading it is NAS 100, well, NQ, uh, US 30, SPX, gold, and oil. These are the only pairs I trade. I'll be trading a prop firm challenge with top step a 50k prop firm challenge um and i will also be trading my live account with hinko trade the platform i'll be trading on is trading view for the prop firm challenge and the platform i'll be trading on on my live account will be hinko x by hinko trade so if you guys want to join hinko trade the link is in the bottom of my description um yeah so let's go ahead and get to the so on the discord i did share that there's news good morning the only main news that i do see that within my time frame is this 10 o'clock cb consumer confidence so um this is the main thing i want to watch out for is 10 o'clock volume hopefully we better catch a trade before or just after then so let's go ahead and see if we see a trade set up all right so as of right now let's see if there's anything with five minutes showing presenting itself. i got into the market a little bit late all right, so we just pretty much missed this um so far we just really we just missed this five minute supply but it is what it is um let's see if i screw up the 15 minute let me break the structure to the upside all right we go to gold gold there is nothing on gold gold looks completely horrible in the five minute us 30 now nah, that was ugly there ain't nothing oil all right, so this is what I do see. I do see there's a trade opportunity on oil right here. I'm going to go ahead and mark up this five-man demand order block on oil. And I'm going to explain to you guys shortly why I may be entering this trade for a possible buy opportunity. One of these songs right here. This, this. And I can possibly mark up this. All right, I'm going to shortly explain to you guys why I may see a possible trade opportunity right here. Let me see the 15 minute really quick. So I do see a possible trade opportunity right here. And let me see what else. So the only thing that I see as of right now is a possible trade opportunity on oil. Um, all right, so also on NAS 100, price did leave a imbalance on AU. Not AU, I'm sorry. On NAS 100, price did leave a imbalance. So price may possible give a pullback on a five minute. Let me get a pullback to this zone for price to go ahead and fall and break structure down here. Uh, because at the end of this big drop created a break of structure here, knocked out this low, and there's a pullback for price to fill the imbalance. So if we get a pullback and price filling this imbalance, I can possibly be able to catch a, a pretty big risk reward. So I may be entering a little bit after the break of the candle. Let me see, a little bit lower than this. Can possibly target a can possibly go for a three to one here possibly all right 
right so that's a possibility i'm gonna go ahead and set alert all right back to oil all right the next candle print on oil is in another four minutes so if price breaks this candlestick that would be a break of candle entry i'm gonna go ahead and set this here stop loss will probably be here tp will be here Stop loss is 19 ticks which is 19 pips as well so i'm putting what i'm risking which is divided by this is my lot size 1.05 on my live account the purpose of me covering up the numbers is because there's people that follow me on my youtube that have post notifications turned on that knows me in real life and i don't want to put myself in a position to deal with any type of regret so i'm covering up numbers so yeah i may more likely enter this trade on on oil the next candle print is in a minute and 35 so we're gonna have to just wait and see what happens all right that's the alert for nas 100 this alert for nas let's see what happens if price come up here i'm gonna go ahead and send another alert up here and i will wait for a nice wick rejection or possible which is unlikely a break of candle entry because obviously the five minute there's a lot of volume near and very close to 9 30 so probably not gonna get a um candlestick break here all right this oil trade setup is invalid all right that's invalid all right so nas do have a 15 minute supply right here that pot that price can possibly be rejecting but i'm gonna just wait to see if price coming to a five minute that way it will give me confluence that you know price may get ready to plummet all right i think i did mark up this 15 minute right here i mean this five minute right here the next candle prints in four minutes i hate one-on-ones i swear to god i do i hate one-on-ones i love bigger risk reward trades another reason that oil is going up is because this israel fight i'm not sure if you guys are familiar when it comes to um to fundamentals but this war that's going on in israel there was like a really big fucking shit that went on yesterday and that causes that caused oil to fucking more likely take off so i really feel as if oil is going to continue to rally but I don't like the fact that price closed within this order block. And I don't like to go for a one to one. I mean, I can actually go for a two to one, but matter of fact, I might just enter the break of candle right here. If we get a break of candle, I may just go ahead and enter this trade. The size of my stop loss is 30 pips, which is 30 ticks. And I'm using 6.6. .6. All right, I just got into this trade on my live account. All right, we just went on ahead and took this trade on oil. I'm more likely gonna move my TP higher if price starts shooting up because, um, like I did say, we do have this war that's going on that price may cause this, um, that the war may cause the price of oil to take off. Yeah, still pulling back up. We're done. Like so, so this trade I just entered. There's no more trades after this. This is my only trade for the day. Win, lose, or draw. It is what it is. We're just gonna come back in the market tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow we'll, we'll be able to catch another win or a win. So yesterday was an L. Let's just hope today is another win. So yesterday was an L. Let's just hope today is a win, a bounce back. So let me explain to you guys exactly why I entered this trade. So last night I did realize that oil is very bullish. Oil was very bullish because of the news that did come out yesterday. Um, I feel as if oil is gonna get ready to continue to fill in this imbalance over here. And there's a four hour supply. I don't think that oil is necessarily gonna hold this area, but I do feel as if oil is gonna continue to go up um, to the upside. Also, when it comes to structure, so when price did this big push, right, price left imbalance, and this is the first area of interest that I will be looking for a possible buy opportunity from. It was this one, and it was also this one. It was also this one. 
um, as you guys can see that price did not hold this one so the next area of interest would have been this area right here this is like a five minute demand and if price would have broke this area the last one would have been this one i'd have been focusing on and if price would have broke through this i just would have been like you know what oil is just not a pair to trade for the day so let's just hope that some buyers come into the market and send the oil send the oil up i'm risking 500 dollars, which is one percent of this account so let's just hope that we be able to get a, a tp today i want to catch a minimum two to one a three to one would be even better like i did say if price starts shooting up i will be moving my tp up but i also will be moving my stop loss more in profit that way i'm able to secure this trade just let you guys know man you guys know i'm always open to constructive criticism man yesterday i did get some comments that was a bit sideways but it is what it is that's just gonna happen I'm okay with constructive criticism. Just respect me. You respect me. I respect you back. If you disrespect me, you will see a really foul version of me. Because, bro, I got I got a mouth on me, bro. Like, bro, I'm from South Florida. What you give me, I will give you back. So, that being said, bro, if you guys have any type of feedback on this trade, on this day in life, please feel free to go ahead and put it in the comment section. I do reply back to every single comment. So, let's just have a good day, man. So, another reason that I did enter this trade because price gave a breaker structure right here. This was a breaker structure right here. And this was another breaker structure right here. Price broke those highs. Price broke these highs and left imbalance. That's another loss. <laughs> this was the trade i actually wanted to get in i got into the market a little bit late all right so we just pretty much missed this so far we just really we just missed this five minute supply but it is what it is this is a trade i genuinely want to get in um there was a 15 minute supply but price still did not even tap it the market structure is super clean this move left me at 9 30. so if i would have been looked at the market and would have been set up already this would have been my trade this would have definitely been my trade i'd have seen this big wick and i'd have said okay i'm in there i'm gonna take it all the way down here because this is a breaker structure this has been a future breaker structure so right here was a change of character that's the first breaker structure all right this big push created this breaker structure and left imbalance price came all the way back up and filled in the imbalance and wicked off the five minute supply and if i would have seen that i would have caught today probably would have been my biggest trading day on my live account 100 percent, 100 percent. i have to manually close this this uh this trade out i'm gonna just take the 200 and um the 200 loss it is what it is and you're just gonna have to be back tomorrow bro this is two day losing streak two day losing streak i wish i would have set up everything before but unfortunately things happen i got into the market at exactly 9 29 and unfortunately it was just too late for me to be able to see that trade set up so yeah that's another l bro that's another l in the books so that's it two losses back to back again yesterday loss was valid today loss if i would have just been in the market and seen everything before 9 30 i'd have caught that nas 100 yeah man so that'll be it for this video man i hope you guys like it um got anything out of it please feel free to put any type of constructive criticism down below share your thoughts just no disrespect you disrespect me like I say, I will disrespect you back. So, yeah, that'll be it for this video, man. If you guys want to join a Discord where I do share all my garbage-ass trades, please feel free to click the link in the bottom of my description. The Discord 100% free. The trading platform that I use to trade is Hinkle X by Hinkle Trade. So, if you guys want to join, the link is in the bottom of my description. That'll be fucked up that it would just stump me out and then just go my way. But I don't even want to think like that. I don't care. I'm done trading for the day. I'll be back in the market tomorrow. And if you guys have any type of video request, please feel free to put it down below. Yes, yeah, so that'll be it for this video, man. Until tomorrow, you guys already know what it is.
Deus seja.